welcome back all of you nana here and in, in this session uh, we are going to see about how to do the movement request approvals it is a new feature which has come into fusion actually so we are going to see about how uh, to perform that actually so let me go on and share my screen now <clears throat> so here what i do is i now go on there i now logged in as a cm 11 dot student actually so with which what happens i go there i will now go to the supply chain execution supply chain execution and then i go to the inventory management and then let me go and then create a moment request for our approvals actually and click on the task list and then go to the manage moment request actually so click on the task list and then from there we will now go to the manage moment request <clears throat> Manage moment request is the one. Fine, go there, click on it. Let's now create a new moment request for testing it actually. So click on plus now. <clears throat> They're going to give a plus. And then go there. And then here, uh, it is now giving automatic numbering. So let me remove it and then I will now put my own numbering. P01 underscore MR underscore. And remember, moment request cannot drive the inventory negative. Fine. It is basically for customers either internal or external. And so it cannot drive the inventory negative. And, go there. and then make the drive what moment request issue transfer. Them. Issue is only for projects actually. So I'll now use a moment request transfers. The source I will now leave it. The systems, the picking rule will automatically allocate the source. Fine. I will now put completed. <clears throat> Fine. Because we are now working on 001 organization. Fine. Given that. So we have a sub unit was completed. The source will be allocated with the picking rule actually. So click on plus. <clears throat> And then let us now put one of the existing items over here. Now, fine. <clears throat> and then go there. So I'll now say AS yes, 65000. This item, I'm going to put it. I will now request five quantities. This is the motor request. I will now request five quantities. That's it. The source is blank. Now, fine. So click on submit. Fine. So T01 MR1 is now going to be submitted. But click on submit. So upon submitting it, it will now go to pre approved actually. It will now go to pre approved. Fine. Click on submit. It will be going to pre approved. So go there. I will now query for what moment request. My item is what? AS65000. Mm -hmm. And then click on search. <clears throat> you are going to search for it. And then you will now find that the T01MR1 is a pre-approved one. Now, let us now set up the approvals and then again create another MR. Right click and then duplicate. You are going to set up the approvals. <clears throat> so we'll go there. So click on it. So click on set up and maintenance. <clears throat> and then I am now going to set up the approvals. So fine, click on it. You now go to the task list and then go to the search and then come to the generic area of the task. Now, fine, the manage percentage, fine. Move percentage, fine. Movement approval percentage. So, it's the manage movement request approval is the task name. Fine, go there. Click on it. So, here we are going to set up the approvals actually. So, once when you are doing it for the first time, what happens? It will be giving you information that the rules for this approval task will be upgraded. Do you want to continue? Fine. When we are doing it for the first time, it will not come. Afterwards, it will not come. Next time onwards, it will not come. So click on yes and then allow it to upgrade now. Fine, click on yes, allow it to upgrade. So it is now going to upgrade it. <clears throat> so the rules were upgraded actually to the latest version actually. Click on now. now let me take up one of them now. Fine. Like normal ones only you're going to do now. Fine. Moment request serial approval is not again. I'll go there. Click on edit rules. You know approvals and so what happens? I'm not going to do anything on this. Now I click on plus now. I will now make a simple approval. Now. Fine, click on it. I will now say MR approval. <clears throat> By I will now say PRC. <clears throat> fine. Zero one dot student. <clears throat> Always give a meaningful name so that you can hear the interaction. Fine. I'm not going to give any any what was the conditions actually. Fine go there. So take over it and then put the description. Paste it over. Click on OK. <clears throat> so it is not done now. Fine go there. So click on add action. So I am now going to get it approved by PRC 11 dot student actually. Fine go there. Approval required by what was a single approver. <clears throat> fine go there. It is a worker now. Fine. It is a student. Fine. Student comma PRC 11. Fine. It is basically last name, comma, first name. Fine. Last name, comma, space, first name. There is being so zero, 01. Fine. PRC 01. <clears throat> so the last name, comma, space, first name, I'm going to give it. So it will be approved by PRC 01 dot student username. But uh, the name is what? When you are representing the name, it is last name, comma, space, first name. Fine. Click on OK. That's it. Fine. So the approver is now defined. Fine. Click on save. <clears throat> and then we'll now deploy it. Fine. Click on deploy. So once we deploy, what happens? It will be getting deployed now. And then we will now enable the serial one now. <clears throat> so click on yes. No, fine. You're going to enable the serial actually. So click on it and then it now enable the serial lecture. <clears throat> so click on us. So it is now created now. Enable, fine, enable. So it's now enabled. Now let me log out and log in and then what happens? You do it now. Fine. Normally, what happens whenever you're making a major change, what happens? You have to log out and log in. That is the best practice actually because the changes will be what happens registered in the system actually. Habit is a habit. <clears throat> sign out and sign in. Click on confirm and then I'm signing in. So we are now signing out and signing in fine for any major changes. Also run what happens you are uh, one more one more concurrent also. You know you are making any changes. What happens you go there and then have a habit of running this concurrent actually. You go to the tools and then I go to the schedule process. Fine. 
and then click on the schedule new process and then here whatever we go there it will not run the LDAP. LDAP will now sync all the setups into the transaction systems actually. Retrieve LDAP fine. We're going to do that. But the system has got an inbuilt mechanism of syncing it actually. This is, this is called a force syncing. This is not required, but since we want the results immediately and urgently, so we are force syncing it actually. Otherwise, if you leave it within two hours' time, whatever it will get synced actually. <clears throat> so it's not running fine. It's not wait and afterwards it's not going to run. <clears throat> so let it run off fine. It's not running. <clears throat> Now, what happens? We go there and then create another moment request. So click on the home icon. So you have to log out and log in. After this is what happens. After having done this, what happens? You always what happens? You go there, log out and log in. Okay. Sign out and sign in. After LDAP is completed, what happens? You go on the log out and log in. So log in. Okay. We are logging in. So always what happens? Whenever you make any major changes, have a habit of even running the LDAP because in a test in, test environment, you will be testing the results immediately. And so what happens? There is required actually. Otherwise, if you leave it for some time, for six hours, eight hours, what happens? It will not get uh, automatically synced into the transaction systems. So go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. And then here, we are now going to get a moment request again. Fine. Go to the manage moment request. So click on it. I will not go to the manage moment request. Now click on manage moment request. <clears throat> So I will not give a plus no point. I will not go to get the second MR. No this is a T01 underscore MR underscore tool. Right. Moment request is a very powerful feature of fine. Moment request is used by inventory. The replenishment technique will be using it fine, for automatic means. And then uh, sales order will be having a pick wave moment request for automatic uh, moment request, moment of mo automatic mo moment request. And then the manufacturing will now use the material pick. Fine. So replenishment, pick wave, and material request are the three types of uh, moment request which will be created by the system automatically by three different modules actually. I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. Click on complete now. Complete the one fine that. That is the one where you're going to pick it. Thank you. Click on plus no point. Go there. So A is six by double zero. Remember, if this item is not available on any other source of inventories, the moment request will fail actually. And then this is not visible. So what happens if you slightly expand the column? What happens if it's visible? So this time I have now set up the approvals. I will not click on submit. It has to go to PRC level. Fine, click on submit. It has to go to MRC, MR2 has to go. Fine with that one. And then we will now query for this now. Fine with the item is what? AS 65000. Fine, go there. Give a tap, give a search. We're going to search for it. <clears throat> so here this is also pre-approved only. Fine. It has not gone to the approval at all. So that means what? The movement request approval mechanism is not enabled. Fine. You will not go there. Right click and then duplicate. I'm going to duplicate it. So it does not enable it actually. <clears throat> so you go the, in the offerings, we had enabled it. Fine, go there, click on it. You will not go to the setup and maintenance, and then we will not enable it actually. So, first is what? Setting up of the approvals, and then afterwards, whatever. Everything has been done together actually, but only for demonstration purposes, I'm doing it in the bits and pieces actually. Fine, go there, click on it. I don't know, go to the offering. Now, fine. Go to the actions and go to the offering. Go to the offerings. <clears throat> so, go to the place. Here, you have to go to the manufacturing and supply chain management offering. Now, fine. In this one, what happens? You go to the opt in features. Now, fine. Manufacturing and supply chain management offerings. What are the opt-in features? In this one, we go to the inventory. <clears throat> so in this one, what happens? You go into the inventory. So go there. In the inventory management, click on the edit now. Futures edit now. Fine, inventory. So under the manufacturing and supply chain management offerings, inventory management, click on edit now. So here you can see that what happens? The movement request will be coming now. <clears throat> fine. Enable units of measures. Fine. This is coming. Use approval for movement request is that it is not enabled now. So we are going to enable it. So go there, and then click on demo. This is again a major change. Click on demo. <clears throat> then this need not be LDAP actually. So this you simply log out and log in. That is more than sufficient. Click on demo. No LDAPing is required. Only when you are performing the setups, you need. Uh, otherwise, what happens? You simply log out and log in. <clears throat> Some of the things. What happens? The log out and log in itself will not sense the change actually. Sometimes even without login also it will not change. But uh, if it is not sensing the change, you better log out and log in. Close it now. So click on confirm now. Now log in again. Sign. <clears throat> go there. So here I will now go again to the what product management system, supply chain execution, and then go to the inventory management. <clears throat> so this time, what happens? Go there. I will now go to the what manage moment request again, okay. and then click on create moment request. The third moment request I am going to create now. I click on it first, and then go there. The T zero one MR underscore three. <clears throat> So, uh, so I'm not putting it off and take away it, click on it, paste it, and then make it the what transfer, and then put the destination sub inventory fine where you wanted to have it. Now, fine, the source can be anything, fine, doesn't matter, fine, contrast, no fine, I'm not for 15 quantities for this, no fine. So, A is 6 by triple zero, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go 15 quantities, <clears throat> 5, 10, and then 15, I'm going to go to fine. So, say Murga, and then submit it has to go to the approval for what about the PRC 11 actually. Everything is now fine, click on submit. 
So we are not submitting it. So the moment request, fine. Moment request was submitted for approval. Fine, click on OK now. <clears throat> we'll go there. So we'll now go on and query on the same item. So it's fine. Yeah. We'll save. And then click on search. <clears throat> now you can see the third MR has now gone to pending approval. Now. The pending approval is there. Thing there. So is a pending approval. But it doesn't show me to whom it has gone actually. Fine, go there. If we click on the hyperlink of it, now fine. If we click on the hyperlink of it, we click on it. Uh, if anybody knows about how to see uh, to whom it has gone, no, fine, it will be great actually because there is no hyperlink on the pending approval actually. Probably it may be fine. If anybody knows, please uh, write to me at uh, nana.app60 at uh, gmail.com. Fine, I will also learn from you. No, fine, not available. Fine, click on that. To whom it has gone, it is not visible at all. <clears throat> fine, the pending approval, no. Now we will know login as a PRC11. We will go there. So we will know, take a copy of it now. Fine, we will know, go to another browser and then from there, what happens? We will know login. <clears throat> so go there. So we'll now go to what edge browser now. Fine. Let me go to the edge browser <clears throat> and go there. So paste it on this now. Fine. I'm going to what happens? Login as a PRC 11. And now go to the edge browser. I'm going to what? Go there. So it's a PRC uh, 01. 01. Student. So PRC 01. Student. And then we are now going to put the password. Let me put the password for this now. And then click on sign in. Now, the PRC01 student must get what? Yeah, notification icon. Fine. A yeah, bell notification icon has to come. Right, click on it. So we'll now see about whether you're not getting a bell notification icon or not. <clears throat> second. So now, here, what happens in the bell icon? We'll now go on and have a look at it. Right, click on the bell icon. So you can see action required, moment request, MR3 requires approval. Actually, fine. That's now come. It is mainly because what happens is this has come to him. Because there is one privilege which is required, which is just to be associated. We have to associate a privilege for that. Then only what happens, you'll be getting this actually. So let us know what happens. Look at the privilege actually. <clears throat> so here, uh, what happens, I'll right click and then duplicate now. Right click and then duplicate. <clears throat> we need a privilege. Fine. For that. Uh, we'll now go there. Supply chain execution. And then I'll now go to the tools. Fine. Go to the tools. It's the tools. So here in the tools, what happens if you go to the security console? If you go to the security console. So here, if you go on then query for the users, no, fine. users is what? PRC01, uh, fine, PRC01. So the system has allocated one uh, big rule, like PRC all. Fine, there are three big rules as far as supply chain is uh, concerned. Fine, if you go there, then have a look at it. Fine, click on it. I will not go to the players. <laughs> I will not go to the players. Sorry. I will not go back here. <clears throat> I will not go to the fusion procurement six plus. Let me go to the fourth uh, additional docs records, four now. In that one, what happens? I go to the document called 58 now. Fine. 58 will now give you the vision rules actually. So vision rules is the one. Fine go there. In the additional docs records four, I have the vision rules. There are three big rules which are available, which Oracle University has created. I am a trainer for Oracle University also. So for inventory, what happens? The OESCM role will now cover all the aspects of inventory, and then there is no data access required for this for all the vision orgs like 001, 002. Similarly, PRC all. PRC all may have this as a subset also. And because of which what happens is not coming. And then for the order management, what happens is one. So since all the big rules are available here, this guy is now having a, what happens, an approval notification. So you know going to approve it now. I click on it. I want to MR3 has now come to him for approval. I click on it. You know going to approve it now. So click on it. Let him approve. And then it will be getting approved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to get a user who will not having any such roles at all. No roles at all. We'll not see about how uh, this comes into the picture now actually. <clears throat> I will not give any roles to him. So here, what happens? You know, go to say, fine, click on approval. You can even take all the actions, whatever you have seen on the procurement. Fine, go there. Uh, assign, re, re reassign and delegate. We have now seen extensively. Actually, fine. You can escalate, suspend, withdraw. All these things you can even do. So let us now go for this training only approval. So fine, click on approvals, and then I'm going to approve it. Fine. <laughs> say okay. Approval. Approval. And I click on submit. Fine. So we have submit again. <laughs> so this is now submitted for approval. Actually, <clears throat> so MR is now submitted for approval. So he has written an MR and command is also given off and So let us go back to our system of click on it. Let us go back to our original one now. <clears throat> go there, on it. So here, now we'll go to the moment request now. So click on search again. It is now pending approved and click on search now. Fine. So it got approved. So it got approved. So the approval is not. So now here, what happens? There is a privilege which is involved for this guy to get a notification actually. For this guy to get a notification, I'm not this guy, there is no notification. All fine. This guy to get a notification, there is a privilege which is involved. So what I do is I will now create a new user now. Let me now go and create a new user now. Fine. So go to this place. Fine. Click on done. Fine. Come on up it. So PRC all and all is a very big role. Fine. Go that. Click on. 
ഞാനതാണ് കൂടുതൽ പ്ലേസ് വാങ്ങിയത് കൂടുതൽ സെറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മെയിൻ്റനൻസ് അതാണ് അല്ല നമുക്ക് ഇതിന്റെ ന്യൂ സെർവറ്സ് സോ വെൻ യു ഹാവിങ് എ ബിഗ് ബിഗ് റോൾ ദെൻ വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് एवरीथिंग വിൽ ബി വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് എ ക്ലബ്ഡ് ഇൻടു ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സോ വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് യു വോൺ ബി എബിൾ ടു സീ ഇറ്റ് നോ വൈക്കൽ കോണട്ട് ലോക്കൽ കൺസോർഷ്യം യെ വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് നോ സേ മാനേജ് യൂസേഴ്സ് സോ ഗോ ടു ദ മാനേജ് യൂസേഴ്സ് സോ മാനേജ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് നോ ഗോ ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ലോക്കൽ കോണട്ട് ലെറ്റ് നോക്ക് ഇറ്റ് എ ന്യൂ യൂസർ മൈക്കൽ കോൺപ്ലസ് so i will not create a new user here okay <coughs> so click on it so the last name is what user the first name is what test underscore no fine so the email is what test underscore user so user at the rate uh, gmail.com <coughs> i will not put under at the rate uh, gmail.com bring it up and like what i will not be going under the user no fine test underscore user remember all the supply chain users must be created only from this place no okay? because you need to have an association to what alien view you know and then only they are legal users legal users are only responsible for making any supply chain transactions and then no security console users are basically fit for acm transactions drop it down and then make it as an employee you know so all these things you might have learned in my other videos actually <clears throat> and then put us one us one is a ready made one and then business unit is also us one us one is one so us one business unit job i will not put some hr job right? normally what about the job is a mandatory field when you are creating a user actually department is okay fine any any department is okay fine hatch will not go there search for it something i have not put something <coughs> same years that's it fine this much is sufficient and then our test underscore user is not ready fine click on save and close and then let's now reset the password for the user <coughs> and then we will now make this user <coughs> as an approver we will now change the approvals in this place and then use it you go to the place fine right click on the duplicate now fine so this is now getting created so what happens in the meantime what happens you go there in this place what happens you know go to the security console and then we will now reset the passwords for that so go to the security console here what happens you can see the manager is still going on now fine we have to wait for it to get completed now <clears throat> so test underscore user now fine there is the username <clears throat> so only when the user gets created we can go and then reset the password now user is created fine go to the place and then go to the users now fine i will not query for this now fine i will not go for test and then enter in now fine test underscore user fine you know and now reset only the password we don't give any roles at all fine click on reset password you go there click on it i will now say the password i am setting it up now <clears throat> so the password and confirm passwords must be same actually so we can very well log in with this user actually go there so click on that now what happens we will now modify our uh, what happens the approvals now fine click on it go to the setup and maintenance we now modify the approvals go to the setup and maintenance click on it fine click on search now fine i will now modify the approvals fine manage fine fine move percentage fine app percentage manage movement approvals movement request approvals fine click on it we now go to this place we go there so here you go there click on edit rules and then i will now modify with the new user actually this guy is going to approve so click on edit now <clears throat> this is not having any rules at all fine go with the worker and then drop it down here what am i say user last name is what user comma space test underscore my logos user comma test fine this is all last name comma first name is the one fine click on okay now we given it now fine it has not changed actually so click on save and then deploy and after deployment it is preferable to what happens a log on login that is, that will now ensure that what happens the changes are being implemented sometimes what happens even without logging a log on login will be coming but it is the best method actually so click on sign and drop so we are signing it out and we will now sign in <clears throat> so, <yeah. clears throat> so go there fine click on sign in now i am now going to make a whatever is the next moment request on this now fine click on it go on sign in so now test underscore user has to approve it now fine click on it and then i will now go to the moment request i will now go to the supply chain execution i will now go to the supply chain execution now so go to the supply chain execution and then here i will go to the inventory management and then i will now go to the space <clears throat> click on it and then here i will now go to the manage moment request click on the manage moment request and then go there click on plus now the fourth moment request i am going to create now so t01 underscore m underscore four so the fourth moment request is now getting created in the covid and put in the description and then here i will now make it the moment request transfer now and then it is a completed submit so completed submit is the one fine you have and then click on plus one fine along with 20 quantities no fine go there is the as 565 triple zero is the one go there this time along with 20 quantities <laughs> and then simple submit and then this will also go for approval fine click on the fine so this is also what happens the approval has been set now fine go there it will also go for approval <clears throat> so test underscore user is the one fine go there i have no query for that 
click on search. You're searching for it, and there's no pending approval. It has gone to test underscore user. Fine. What you'll do is we'll now log in as a test underscore user. We'll go there. So we'll now log out, and then we'll now log in as a test underscore user. Sign out. So click on confirm. So is what is the test underscore user active, and then we'll now give the password. So let us now paste the password for it. Now click on sign in. We'll now sign in. So he has got lots of notification. Now I know that you want it. I will now click on it and how about it? As the MRS come on, right? So here, what happens? It is coming actually. But in the document, it is written that you must have one privilege to what happens approve it actually. Fine. It doesn't have any role actually. Fine. With that. So there is one privilege which is required actually. Fine. That is what the document says actually. The moment request approval document is saying that you need a privilege. Fine. With that. So here, it has now come to approval without that. Maybe what happens that they made a bypass something or not. I'm not very sure about it. Click on it. Without any role, it is coming up actually. Fine. We are working on vision and so what happens there are so many things are preset in this. Now fine. You go there and then click on approval. They are approving it. No, that is getting approved. So give a command now. Thank you. I will tell you about the privilege actually. That is written in the document actually. Fine. That is written in the document. And then go there. And then if you click on it, what happens? The MR approval will go away. Now fine. No, going away. <clears throat> and if you come back to the main system, what happens? You can now see that it will be approved now. Click on it. So click on search. Is approved. Now I'll tell you about the privilege which is required for what happens. Getting the notification. Fine. This user has to get the notification. Now, fine. There is a privilege which has to be there. Fine. So they made a modified it or I don't know exactly. Fine. When you are when you are getting stuck like this, what happens? You go there and then have over now. Click on it. So click on the home icon and tell you about the privilege. That is what the document says actually. <clears throat> you go to the tools and then you go to the security console. So here uh, I will now go to the users. Now fine. Click on the users. I will now go to the users and then here I will now go for warehouse manager. So I will now go and then query the warehouse manager. So warehouse manager is a role. Fine, sorry, user, not user account now. I will now go to the roles. Fine, click on the roles. The roles I will now go for the warehouse manager. So warehouse manager is a role. I will now go there. If you go to the place, fine, click on edit now. Fine, click on edit. So they say that you customize a role and then add this privilege, then what happens? The moment request approvals will be definitely be appearing. If you go there, if you want it. So approve inventory moment request notification. Fine. Allows access to notification to approve or reject the inventory moment request. This privilege is required. Probably they made a bypassed it or I don't know why is it. Fine. This is available on warehouse manager. This is not available on the inventory manager. You can see. Approve inventory moment request notification is not there. Fine. The inventory manager I tried it is not there. <clears throat> Maybe. Inventory manager. Mm. So if you go to the inventory manager over uh, mm. and then try to see, look at the privilege now. Click on it. So go to the place now. Click on it. And then here we don't have any what happens approve sort of a momentary, you know, moment request approval is not there. So whichever role you are having it, you customize it. If you are not getting a notification of the approvals, what happens? You customize it and then add that one. It is available in warehouse manager. That is what is written. But it is not available in this place. Now, maybe in some other role also it may be available. Fine. But you are using the standard ones about all the high. Fine. For training purposes, what happens? You'll be using uh, anything. Now, fine. For inventory, if you rate, what happens? Everything will be having everything. <clears throat> and similarly for the PRC, even OCM role will be what happens? Will be a part of PRC. Fine. It may be a sub subset actually. Fine. There's a hierarchical role maybe it will be there. So when you are using these roles, what happens? You won't find any difficulty. But they won't be available when you go to the field actually. These are all Oracle University. I am an Oracle University man. So we use these roles for demonstrating it because we don't need any data access, nothing. And everything is fully set, actually. So these roles will be using it. So uh, if you are getting stuck on that part, fine, you customize a role with a particular approve, approve movement uh, notification privilege. Actually, and then it will definitely work. Fine. If you're getting a problem. Here it is working. Since we are working on vision, we don't know how many things are, what happens, are basically integrated upon. That is the reason. So with this, what happens, I conclude this session, fine. You can uh, write to me at uh, nana.app60 at the rate gmail.com or otherwise you can contact me at 9848-67924. That is my WhatsApp number also for any clarification also. Fine. So I hope that you had an interesting session on this now. Fine. And then uh, I thought that uh, what happens if I create my own user, it will not approve and then I will not, I will not add the Varos manager role and then I will not show the approval notification, but it is not coming now. It's up now. Fine. <laughs> so... Uh, not really, what happens, the document, the document might have, and then uh, they might have even modified the, what happens, the privilege may, may not be required like that, maybe, it's not, I'm not sure about it, <clears throat> the reason one. 
So with this, we conclude the what happens the session on the moment request approach. Now, fine, bye. bye. <clears throat>